Welcome back to another Infinite Flight tutorial. In this video, I'll give you basic instructions to take off in an airliner. As we hold short of runway 27 at San Diego in the Boeing 737-700, I'll walk you through a pre-takeoff checklist which can be applied to just about any aircraft in our fleet. I've also included each item of the checklist on your screen so that you can follow along. Let's begin. Fuel quantity, checked. Departure procedure, we are departing San Diego to remain in the traffic pattern. We will fly straight ahead, engaging autopilot once stable above 400 feet AGL. Altitude. Traffic patterns will be flown at 2,000 feet. Takeoff trim. Set at 15%. Flaps. Set at 5 degrees. V speeds. Based on a weight of 126,000 pounds or 57,000 kilograms, our calculated V1 speed is 130 knots, rotation speed is 135 knots, and V2 speed is 140 knots. Power setting. 85%. Clearance verification. Check. Always verify that you have been cleared for takeoff or announce your intentions on the Unicom. San Diego Unicom, November 1 Tango Juliet is taking off runway. Runway verification. I verified that we are taking off on runway 27. Final and the runway is clear. Lights. Strobes and landing lights on. I will now taxi onto the runway, aligning the nose of the aircraft on the runway's center line prior to setting takeoff power. To combat the crosswind, we will ensure the aileron is fully deflected into the wind. Turning your device into the wind will also accomplish this. When you look at your wings, the aileron that is up should be on the same side that the wind is coming from. Failing to do so can cause your upwind wing to lift off early, which sends you veering off the runway. Once stable, I will slowly increase power until takeoff power is set at 85%. As we are rolling and my ailerons become more effective, I can slowly reduce the amount of deflection while also using rudder to maintain the center line. At VR or rotation speed, I will apply gentle back pressure to lift the nose off the ground while maintaining the slight aileron deflection for the crosswind, pitching the nose up to 8 to 10 degrees. Once a positive rate of climb is observed, we will raise the gear and continue to increase our pitch to 10 to 15 degrees. Passing 400 feet AGL, I slowly return the rudder and aileron to a neutral position and activate the autopilot heading mode. As my climb stabilizes, I'll reduce my power to 75% as I also lower the nose to accelerate to 210 knots. Once in the desired climb profile, I will set the vertical speed, altitude, and speed on the autopilot and begin my crosswind turn. Taking off in any airplane requires a plan and the ability to stay ahead of the airplane. Things happen fast when you're rolling down the runway, so it's absolutely crucial that you practice, practice, practice. Thanks for following along today. Subscribe to the channel for more helpful tutorials as we master flying on infinite flight. Be sure you also check us out on social media. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Infinite Flight. Happy flying, and we'll catch you in the next one.